Hello everybody, greetings and well met. My name is Decadence Knight and we are playing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream, part three. First things first, I looked into the Gorser's heart item and it turns out that it is in fact bugged. It's just, just not in the way that I originally thought and it has nothing to do with the Steam release or anything like that, so. When you use the heart item, it does this. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. That's all the bug is. Um, it turns out you don't, never at, never at any point do you need to use the heart on anything. Um, apparently what was supposed to happen when you try to use Gorister's heart, maybe it gives, supposed to give like the standard, um, I don't know what to do with this message or it doesn't do anything at all. It's too narrow for me to cross without falling. Get, yeah, instead it gives you that. Instead it gives you some bullshit about being too narrow to cross that doesn't make any sense. But it's it's not a game-breaking bug. It's 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 not that. It's just kind of annoying. Um, where that leaves me is that I still don't know what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Uh, I do have a few ideas after looking at the footage. Um, first of all, um... I think what I'm gonna do, something that I never did, is I'm gonna closely examine some of these other items. Um, originally what I did was I just picked them up, I didn't really look at them too closely, so... You know what, maybe maybe this will give me some kind of idea, some kind of clue. So let's just go one by one, take a look at the items, and see what he says. This rope looks strong enough to support my weight. Great. Okay. Look at Gorse's heart. There's a compass and wires attached to this heart. Okay, look at the fork. I never did this. Heavy. Must be made of iron or something. <laughs> made of iron, okay. A heavy fork. This looks sharp enough to slice through just about anything. I've looked at that plenty of times already. Let's look at the gun. What does he say about that? Well, and this gun is huge. Damn thing could bring down an elephant. Wow, that's good to know. Yeah, it looks fucking huge. Looks like it could have been a flare gun, but no, it's just a giant single shot pistol it looks like all right well that's all pretty interesting maybe that'll give me some kind of ideas so the fork is pretty heavy it's pretty sturdy um i guess i was wrong before about him being able to bend it with his fingers i mean if it really is like that heavy if it really is made out of iron it kind of makes sense that you can't just bend it yourself or at least not easily so something else i'd like to try i did try combining the fork with the knife before to see if maybe I could use the knife to bend the fork back. Uh, I didn't do vice versa though. It shouldn't matter in which order you combine items, but you know, maybe it does. So let's just give it a shot. I just dull my knife. Yeah, I thought so. All right, so let's see. There's one other, th there's another thing I'd like to try. There's a couple other things I'd like to try actually. What I'd like to see is if there's anything around here that I missed. What I'd like to do is tie the rope around something around here and see if maybe I can, you know, tie it off somewhere so I can climb out the hatch. But it's not gonna let me do that. I can't tie it to these pipes. I can't tie it to the railing. I can use it with the door, but that's obviously not going to do anything. I don't know what to do with these. Yeah, I thought so. Well, strike two. Let's go up the stairs. Hmm. I did miss this before. I didn't know I could interact with that. Power light. Some kind of warning light. The label says, power. It's not lit. That's weird. It looks lit to me, but okay. Um, alright, some kind of power indicator, but for what? It's, it's not lit. Well, what isn't powered? The altimeter? Well, it looks like it's connected to, but the altimeter is obviously powered. It works fine. As does the switch. So, what is this an indicator to? For the, what is this an indicator to? Huh. Alright. Alright, I am going to try one other thing. Um, let's try popping some of these airbags so I can see that, um, so I can see that building again. Q. 
cue a dip in the audio here. Something feels different. As the alarm goes off. All right, let's go out the tear. We're approaching some kind of building. All right, there's that building again. Now, let's be thorough with this environment. Is the building the only thing I can interact with? I can't look at... Wait, what's this? Look at... Let's just walk to the tear. Look at the mooring ring. Yeah, there's nothing else. Something I'd like to try. Use the gun with the honky-tonk. Maybe I can signal them. Um, you know, at first, save it. This may end up blowing me up. Use the gun with the honky-tonk. Hey, hey, it is, whoa. Okay, that obviously wasn't the right thing to do. I thought maybe I could use the gun to signal somebody at the honky-tonk. I don't know what that would have accomplished, but I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Um, apparently, the bullet in that gun is some kind of explosive. Either that I or the honky-tonk is actually the the regional natural gas depository or something because shooting the honky-tonk blew it up. Which, you know, probably took the airship along with it, which is why I am now dead. We're approaching some kind of building. All right. Let's try something else. Let's put in the rope on the mooring line. There's no mooring ring, rather. There's nothing else I can do with the rope but attach it to this mooring ring, so I might as well just leave it here. Can I push the rope off the edge? What good will that do me? That means you could climb off. That's what good it would do you, but I guess he doesn't want to do that. Man. Okay. Well. We're aboard this Iron Zeppelin. Don't know what else to do. Let's cut off the alarm. We got this power light still, and I'm... I'm not sure what that power light is even Airbags for. It's, it's, it's an indicator for some kind of thing, but I don't know what. Is there anything I can use with the power light? I know that doesn't make any sense, but... Yeah, might as well give it a the shot. Fork's too bent to be yeah, of any use. Yeah, it's too bent to be of any use. Okay. Use the knife. I just dull my knife. Obviously. Man, all right. Um. All right, let's walk to the stairs. There's one. There, well, there's a couple other things that I still don't know what's going on with. One of which is the door. And we're not even going to go there again. Until I find some kind of key or something, I'm not even going to bother because I've, I've tried everything that I can. Another thing is the, is the oven. The gas is shut off, but maybe I can figure out how to get the gas going back to the oven and then use it for something. And while I'm in here, I'm just... You know, being, I'm just looking around some more, making sure there's nothing I missed. Doesn't look like there is. Just debris over there, tablecloth, bowl of poison, curtains, can't do anything with. Alright, let's go to the kitchen. Okay, we got this empty bottle of poison, the cookbook with that cryptic message in it, the oven, and it looks like there's nothing else in here. That's to the door. All right. I can't use the oven because the gas, the gas is, off. is shut off. All right. All right. Let's let's I'm grasping at straws here again. I don't know what to do with these. <laughs> well, I figured that would at least, you know, blow up the airship again, but Maybe the power light is to the to the gas control to the to the gas to the rest of the airship. If that's the case, then how do I turn the gas back on? I haven't found any kind of any kind of switch anywhere other than the switch that you know reinflates the airbags, but that doesn't doesn't do me any good. Uh, I, I haven't tried using the bottle. Strange, the bottle's empty. 
Yes, okay. Bottle's empty. Well, wait a minute. I just saw something. Or was that the bottle again? Look at the bread? Oh, crap. This bread's covered with rat droppings. All right, well, that's a glitch. Um, apparently there's some more bread up in that corner. Can I take it? Hey, I have more bread! Interesting, okay, um... Can I swallow this bread too? I'm no longer hungry, but I still feel empty. What's wrong with me? Okay, that must have been a glitch. Yeah, there's more bread. <laughs> I have infinite bread. Alright, well, it's obviously useless. Um... See, the thing is, I'm still for, I'm still finding more stuff. I'm, I still found the power light. I found that that infinite bread up there. Uh, there's nothing I can do with the oven yet. The other thing that I don't know what's going on with is the thingamajig. Yeah, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do with that. I've tried all my available items with it. Um, obviously the hatch isn't going to give me anything else. Whoa, that's a long drop to the ground. Hmm. Is there anything I've missed? Stairs. Corridor. Ah, uh, fuck that door. And then there's these cabins. I don't want to go through, go into those cabins again. I refuse to go into these cabins again. All right, let's go back upstairs. See if there's something I missed up there. There were a few things that I missed before, like I missed the tear, I missed the, the power light. I even missed the switch at one point. Don't know how I did that, it's clear as day. Is that more stitching? Okay, no, that was just... Oh, that was just a nice little glitch. It says stitching. Can I use the knife on the stitching? It just takes me over there. Yeah, that's a glitch. Man, this game is a glitch fest, it seems. Yeah, it says stitching right there, but that's just the... That's just for the stairs. Use the altimeter. We're at a level We're at altitude. a level altitude, thank you. Look at the power Some lights. Some kind of warning light. It's not lit. Take the power I light. I can't take the whole friggin' world with me. Of course you can't. There's the tear. Airbags. Oh god. Alright, uh, maybe the psych profile gives me some kind of hint. I've already read it. I know what it says, but let's just see. Whoa! It's different! Why does it say something different? Vivisection- Psychological Framework. Vivisection is the use of laboratory ex- The use as- of animals as subjects in laboratory experiments, especially when it is considered to cause distress to the animal. Okay. Why does it say something different all of a sudden? That's weird. Throw a monkey wrench into the works is an expression meaning to disrupt some process, often by using something in a way for which it was not intended. Okay. Is this another hint? Using something as it was not intended. Okay. Um... Is it gonna give me another hint? No. Vivisection. Okay, and then look at it again. It's gonna give me... Their own monkey wrench into the works is an expression meaning to disrupt some process. Often by using something in a way for which it was not intended. Okay. Can I... Can I 
fuck up the switch? The fork's too bent to be of any use. I think I need to figure out how to bend this fork back so it can be of some use. Use the knife for the just switch. Dull just my dull knife. your knife, of course. Because, I mean, there must be something I have to do with the fork. But right now, it's too bent. So I need to find a way to fix it. I know I'm repeating myself, but I... How, how can I possibly fix the fork? What can I use to fix the fork? What else is there that I can interact with? Oh, we got some different music now. That's a nice change of pace. Okay, can I use the fork with the hatch? Like maybe slam the hatch door into the fork to, to, to bend it back? The fork's too bent to be of any yes, use. Yes, thank you. Too bent to be of any use. Damn it. So it's telling me to throw a monkey wrench into the works. I've been trying to do that with, with this node. I've been trying to... I already tried the fork and the knife with the node. I know that if I try the gun with the node, it's just gonna blow me up. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna... I can't use the fork and the knife with the node. Give the fork... Yeah, the, the the give function I think can only be used um used for people. You see, to to give objects to another person. It seems like, seeing as there aren't any other people around, it's kind of useless. What? Christ, what a stench! What? It smells like piss, and rotting meat. What? There is another area. You've got to be fucking kidding me! There's a whole other area? It didn't... Are you serious? It didn't give me another message over here! I looked! I... Okay. So, don't trust this shit. Don't trust that for a goddamn second. It looked like there was more stuff over here, but the game didn't tell me there was, so I assumed that there wasn't. God damn it, okay. We have a whole other area to explore now. Jesus Christ. Okay, look at the harness. Why is this harness wired up to the engine? Is Am expecting me to electrocute myself? Okay. This engine isn't as ruggedly built as it first looked. There's some loose wires hanging out. Okay. Okay, can I walk over there? Is there another area? Yep, there is. Okay, so even if it doesn't tell you, there could potentially be other areas. God damn it. Okay, well, now that I know that, yeah, obviously I just didn't have all the pieces to the puzzle. All right, look at the engine. Same message, some loose, some loose wires hanging out, okay. Look at... Look at milky fluid? The bottle's filling up with a milky liquid from the cage's feeding tubes. Can I take it? Can I take the milky fluid? Okay, I have the milky fluid. That recipe, that cookbook. Mention some kind of milk. The milk of something. Maybe that is a hint. Maybe that is an actual recipe. Wait a minute. Look at lever. This lever is labeled motivator. Motivator. Look at the bloody key. key. Key! It must be for opening the cages. Key! Take the key! It's locked in tight. Wait, here's a sign. To remove key, push lever. Am I really going to trust that? Isn't that something that Am would expect me to do? Well, but what else am I going to do? The game tells me to push the lever. I have to push the lever, right? Save it first. Save game. All right. Let's use the lever. Let's see what happens. Oh my God. Aww. I'm killing those poor creatures in the cages. Aww. So sad. I've got the key to the 
lot of these poor creatures is on my hands. Aww. I had to... I killed them. These poor creatures' brains are feeding electricity to the engines. These poor creatures' brain. Oh, man. That is so... That is so creepy. That's so horrible. Okay, can I use the key with the cages? Can I free them? The key doesn't fit. Doesn't fit. Okay, the key must be for that door. Thank Christ. I knew there had to be a key somewhere. I knew it. Did I not say that? Did I not say that unless I find a key, I'm not going to do anything else with the door? Well, I found the key. All right. First, let's go to this door. Let's let's use this door. Okay. All right, that just takes me back out that way. That means if I walk this way... Now it gives me a message over there to walk through the door. Oh, man. God, that still really pisses me off that it didn't give me a message or anything like that. All right, while I'm here, let's... Use the door. Let's go back to that cookbook. Let's see what that cookbook said. Because it said something about milk, and I have a milky fluid now. Oh, that sounds so wrong. Alright, what's it say? Here's a recipe for the milk of human kindness. Take the willingness to forgive and the will to be forceful. Mix the blood of innocence and the anger of the wronged. What kind of crap is this? Okay. Maybe this is the milk of human kindness. I'm not going to try swallowing the fluid. That sounds like a death wish. Um, first thing first. Use the door. First things fucking first, let's open that door. Let's see if I was right. Let's see if that's the bridge. I'm pretty sure it was. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's like a cargo area or something. Let's open the door. Damn key doesn't fit. Oh, come on. Come on, are you serious? It's locked. There's one locked door. There's one key. The key does not fit the door. Okay, well that figures, doesn't it? All right, let's go back over to the engine room. God damn. I'm so mad that this is over here. All right, you know what? Here, maybe th let's look at the psych profile. Now that I've found a different area, maybe it will give me a different message. No, throw a monkey wrench into the works. All right. Let's throw a monkey wrench into the works. Let's just see if we can jam up the engine. The metal in the fork short circuited the engine wiring. Okay. We've shut off the engine. I don't- I don't hear an alarm going off or anything like that, so... I guess maybe that means that we're okay, we're not crashing, are we just floating now? Okay, I think we're just floating now, the engine is off. Okay. You know what? Let's take a look at the engines. I'm- it's- it's gonna show that the engines are shut off. I just- I just want to be sure, though. Use porthole. The engines have shut down. Okay. Alright, I've shut off the engines. Let's go, let's go back up to the, to the, to the gas bags. Go to the stairs. Hey, hey! So that was an indicator for the engine. Let's look Some at the power light again. Light. The label says, power. It's not lit. Now it's not lit, before it was. Okay, let's look at the altimeter. Altitude. We're at a level altitude. Okay. Let's see what happens now when I cut open the airbags. Okay, we're gonna save it. 
Last time, I just, I crashed. Gas is rushing. Now that I'm not moving... I don't know what to do. Maybe I'll just drop slowly to the ground. Something feels different. And there's no... Okay, there's, there's no alarm now. Interesting, okay. We're dropping slowly. We're dropping slowly. Okay, let's head out to the tear now. We're approaching some kind of building. We're approaching some kind of building. All right. Yeah, let's take my rope. It's not going to be any use out here. At least I don't think so. Okay, we're dropping slowly now. Okay, what's happening? We've landed. Yay! But where? Yay! We landed! We landed the airship! Yes! Yes! I am so happy! Why aren't you happy? I'm happy! I'm happy! Are you happy, Gorster? Well, you should be. You should be happy! We landed the airship! Let's get the fuck out of here! Oh my god! Some road yes! Honky Tonk. With my name on it. Yes! Yes! We're on the ground! Oh my god! Well, It was a long journey, folks. But we're off the airship. I doubt, I highly doubt, in fact, I know that this is not the end of Gorister's journey, but you know what? The first leg of our journey is finally over. We are off that fucking airship. There's still that locked door, and there's still that weird contraption in the engine room that I didn't do anything with, because... I bet you a thousand bucks that that's exactly what Anne was expecting me to do, was to climb into that thing. It probably would have killed me. But you know what? I don't care about that right now. We're off the airship, we're on the ground, we're at this weird building, I don't know what it is, but you know what? I don't care right now. The end! Part 3. I have no mouth and I must scream. This has been Decadence Nights. You all have a fantastic day. I know I am. I'll see you next time. Yeah!